Alex and Tosh actually took the rest of the day off. So that's good. So my birthday week, but that's what I do best, man. I love doing this thing. So Alex told me, what the hell are you doing? You're still working. It's your birthday week, right? Get the fuck out. It's Friday. You already made a shitload of money in the morning. Get the hell out. What's a few more hundred bucks or another thousand or so? Two thousand doesn't matter more. But I told Alex, I love what I do. This is, when I look back at my life, this is the birthday wish that came true, man. Being able to travel, do what I love for a living, and helping others and make money. I mean, shit. What more can you ask for, right, guys? You know, now I just need to get a little more healthier, which I'm trying. You know, sometimes in life, you know, time, time is it's like a pie, man. You guys, you, you can't be 100% focused on work because you don't have a social life. Then you have health issues. So it's a balance. Oh. So why am I doing this on a Friday? Because you know, man, I, I, I'm really appreciative of what's going on. Um, normally I'd be fucking drunk off my ass right now <laughs> for my birthday and no, but shit, maybe it's the maturity inside me, but I'm going to drink this tonight, obviously, but, um, just want to say, dude, the, the, the secret to life, guys, the secret to life is find something you love to do. Money, you need money. That's the bottom line though. You need money, but money, like I posted, it's, it's a tool. It's not the goal. Freedom is the goal. I'm going to say that again. Money is just a tool. It's not the goal. The goal is freedom. Never forget that. Never forget that freedom is the ultimate goal. So how do you get that, guys? I haven't done one of these uh, life coaching sessions. I used to remember I used to walk around and do these live coaching sessions before MIC launched. Uh, but it's simple as that, guys. But it's not easy. Like trading. It's not easy. Simple is not easy. Find something you love to do and become the best at it. You know, that's a simple bottom line. But you have to be realistic. You need to be able to pay the bills. Pay the rent. Pay for your food. So, you know, if you really want to make this work. I'll give you an example. If you really want trading to work. Do whatever the fuck it takes for you to be able to educate yourself and to learn to trade. And it takes time. So get a job. These guys are like, oh, I don't want to get a job. I'm gonna... Then you're never going to be successful. You know what, man? Success requires sacrifice. You need to be able to sacrifice your ego. You know, get rid of your ego. Get a job so you can save money. Get a job so that it pays your bills so that you can afford to learn how to trade the right way. A lot of these people, oh, I'm, I'm all in. I'm going to quit. I'm the fucking best trader. I got a $1,200 stimulus check from the government. I'm going to put in a Robin Hood. I just tripled my account. Holy crap, I am now a full-time day trader. <laughs> you know what? That doesn't have no, that does not work like that, man. It's always gonna be balanced out over time if you do not know what you're doing. Profits flow from the uneducated to the educated, regardless of whatever field you are in. Playing, playing poker, sports betting, whatever it may be, man. Um so, you know, th that's the thing. Find something you love to do. And trading is great. You, you guys are all here because you guys love to trade, right? So, so I'm telling you the blueprint for success, man. The blueprint for success is to get a fucking job. That allows you to, to fucking trade. That allows you to learn to trade, rather. You need to learn to trade first. First step is not to fucking open up a Robinhood account and start fucking trading blindly. You know what I used to do, man? I'm so stupid back then, right? When I started trading, I was watching CNBC. And whenever they mentioned a ticker, the stock would go up. So I thought that was like, holy shit. But it's always sell on news once you start learning. So this is part of the education that you would never know unless you lost. And so instead of losing to know these things, why don't you just get mentored by someone that's already gone through the pain? You know, why do you have to relive the pain? Same thing with life. 
That's why you have parents. Parents tell you the stove is hot. Do not fucking put your hand onto the flame. So a smart kid, well, it depends how smart. If he's too arrogant, he's going to go, I don't believe you, mom. I'm going to put my fucking hand here. And then you get burned. And that's how you learn not to touch the stove anymore with your bare hands. Some kids are stupid. They require five different burns before they realize that the fucking stove is hot. You know, you don't have to get burned five times trading in order to realize that, fuck, you need help. You need proper education. There's just shit you can never learn on your own unless someone fucking told you. Like, who the fuck would even tell you about buy the rumor, sell the news, right? Who the hell will tell you the zombie rule? Unless you fucking lost. You cannot fucking learn these things on your own. You can. You, fucking, you can take a year and a hundred thousand dollars to fucking learn and become a master. But most of the time, you can never happen. So you learn. That's what books are for. When you're reading a book, when you're reading someone's tweet, that's all learning from someone. That's mentorship, man. That's many different forms of me- mentorship. Just get over this ego that, oh, I don't want to fucking subscribe to this shit. Man, you're not subscribing to a fucking guy that's teaching you shit. You're subscribing to a fucking community that's going to help you. But uh, I'm not going to stop talking about that because, you know what? For my birthday, I don't really need anything. I got so many good messages from people that that said, hey, thank you, Bao. You changed my life. I would have quit trading. I would have lost all my money. But then now I'm in it, doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So those are the birthday. So... When Alex says, go enjoy yourself, what the fuck am I doing? What do I like to do? I like to help you guys. I like to talk to people and help them out. I like to travel. I, right now, I cannot travel, but I'm going to Miami next week. So, you know, so I'm doing what I love to do. And so I call that life by design, guys. Life by design. So I created this life, knock on wood. Did it take a fucking day? No. Did it take a year? No. Did it take five years? No. It took many decades to get to where I am. So do not compare your chapter one to other people's chapter 100, right? That's all I always say. Do not compare your chapter one. You know, life by design it does not do it overnight. You think Jeff Bezos at Amazon became an overnight success? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it took a year to so, but the thing is, they, they, people think it's an overnight success, but he's been working his ass off. What was that line I used to say? Uh, it took me 10 years to become an overnight success. It took me 20, it took me two decades to become an overnight success in trading. <laughs> you know, that's what I used to say. I'll repeat that again. It took me over a decade to become an overnight success. You know, that, that's what it is, man. That's facts right there. Uh, I don't know, man. I just want to walk around and help. I mean, who wants to get on? Just a fucking, I don't care if you're a troll or whatever. I love bringing someone on that I've never talked to before around the world doesn't matter where if you're struggling whatever so I want to like have a bring on this, today bring on because we don't have a topic by the way we, we worked our ass off this week guys pretty much every week and so today it's just kind of free there's really no agenda for me to do this IG live it's just fucking I wanted to do it hey what's SNOA at guys SNOA so whoever wants to get on just wave your hand and then I, I'm gonna bring on someone that I never brought on. Let me see. <laughs> There's the S again. 1410, cool. All right, well, I'm just gonna randomly, uh, raise your hand if you wanna get on, man, just for fun. All right, I'm gonna bring in Michael, man. I've been a long time. This is gonna be a good one. Us on his progress. Mr. Michael. What is up, Bow? Happy birthday to you, my man. Thanks, man. I'm glad to hear you're around. Because uh, I want you to update everybody on your progress. Because you remember the first time we met, we were, we were debating about politics. We were doing all this stuff. And you're a completely different individual now, man. <laughs> Yo, I love sick. it. It's sick. <laughs> it's, it's, it's night and day, um, you know, what type of person I've become. Right. Because I really feel that like you have to understand yourself sometimes even more than the market. 
right? So like, if you're doing good, you're doing bad, you do however you feel like today with some of the tabs, um, you know, it's a good day today. Everyone, you know, did well, but I felt like I, I went to the well too often. So overtraded, said, overtraded, shutting it down. Right. Yep. I did well, but I felt like I, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to be like, Oh, this is the one, my last trade <laughs> dump city. Right. So I said, I'm not even going to do it. I'm going to shut it down and that's it. And you know, I've been, I mean, it's been fantastic. This, 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 this MIC ride, you know, dude, show, show them your uh, PL chart for this month. Remember you, you showed like the green, green, green. I was like, dude, that's, that's my man. Yeah. So, you know, in the last, um, in the last 17 days, I have one red day and that's back last month. Oh shit. <laughs> so, I've never done that before. Breath. You know, uh, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to show it cause I, uh, sent it to some of the crew. Um, let me let me pull this up, guys, real quick. Um, I'm and I'm and I'm proud, but I I'm not bringing it into tomorrow. You know, it's a new day. So exactly, every um, day is a new day. Do not use yesterday's profits to cushion tomorrow's losses. Right. So here is, so here is last month November. You can see back in November 18, things started to click. And here's December. So these are all uh, so green days. And good. Oops, we're losing you, my friend. No, I'm here. You're you're white fun. Okay. Um, tell. So what 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 are you doing? That's different. What clicked? What do you think clicked, man? What was so? Tell us that the progress from before and what changed. Um, I got out of my own way. Okay, I realized that I. I need to really start uh, listening more, studying. I study a ton, um, but really just being more patient. And, you know, being patient, not chasing, you know, but sometimes when I chase, I, I'm still profitable, but I've been lucky there. You know, I know that if I keep doing that, it's going to fucking slam me. So basically um, you recognize FOMO and you're oh, curving 100%. the FOMO. That's what that's yes. what he's seen by, by talking about uh, trading. I mean, uh, yep. chasing. Because a lot of the new members – if you don't know what chasing is. So it's basically FOMO. That's what FOMO is. Fear of missing out. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? If I miss out, I miss out. Because there's another, there's going to be another one. That is the number, I would say the top three culprits for most people lost it. Uh, FOMO, number, uh, number one is risk management. Not having proper risk management. So if you just tighten up your risk, your P&L will go up. If you tighten up your FOMO, your PL will go up. Yeah, and like risk management is the, the whole is the holy grail too. Like you have to put in a stop loss and you feel better. Like look, okay, I'll lose max, you know, twenty cents, twenty five cents, I'll deal with it. Like even with LXRX today, I put in a stop loss and I wound up re entering and being profitable on it, but the stop loss, it could have dumped on me. Right? Yep. Yep. You know, it, it could have, and I would have been out. It would have been fine. But I was, that stop loss, it hit, but I was able to re-enter because so I was in control I love of the that. Trade. that. That's not something you did before. No. I don't think you did that kind of stuff before. Never. No, I was a fucking cowboy. You, you were just like, fuck this shit. I'm going to add more and hold. <laughs> yeah, add, you know, but um, stop losses, FOMO, and, and, and like really trying to not do it on your own. You know, get get people with you during your trading day and you hear different things and, you know, everybody agrees together and um, do the opposite who's, of whatever who's it is. Who's your tab doing. group? Who's your tab group, man? Oh, my fucking tab group's gold, bro. I think I think we're the best group in MIC outside the mods. Um, so yeah, we got baby. Roche. I love that. So we uh -huh. got Roche. Roche, We got eh? Brambleam. We got uh, Joe Angelo. We got, uh, who else we got here? We got Ben. Uh, and then we got uh, Ben Young. And um, am I miss? Oh, Rich, Big Rich from Hong Kong. Um, it's sick. Yo, that's so. That's awesome, my DJ, friend. Yeah, it's great. I mean, because everybody comes together. You know, and it's so important. It's so important to hear what other people are doing. Um, today, this is this, has, this is the number three thing that we, that I said. I said risk, FOMO, and before was trained by yourself. Trained by yourself is a losing proposition can't do it you can but it just decreases your odds 
it's so much harder. It'll take you so long because more brains are, and more eyes are better than one, man. If you, you know, what, what, so watch everybody agrees. That's a, even a solid play kind of deal, right? You run it solid. through the, the council, I call it. You can run it through the council. It's like the, it's, it's like what the, the, the chief justices, the Supreme Court. <laughs> it's sick. No, it's sick. And, you know, I'm, I, like, I learned from you to be humble, you know? There's it, no man. reason – humble. Like, you know, I start zero every day, you know, and I work and I grind. We all do it, and that's it. Next to the next day. This is, this is a phenomenal fucking turn of man. Yeah. I mean, it's dude, I remember. Cause I, I remember you work hard already, but then before it was like, bow, fuck, man, that one play fucked me up, you know? <laughs> And so then, no, honestly, I'll tell you what, that one day where you ripped my ass open, there was like 200 friggin' replies between you and Harry. That day was the kind of a turning point. It, it really was. It, it like moved the ship a little bit to re-steer it to the other direction. I was like, damn, I'm doing something wrong. Because you know what, man? That's exactly right. Because, I mean, this you know us, man. This is all tough love, right? This is yeah. straight up no bullshit. So... So what, what we saw, what I saw before from you, that this is totally changed. And this is, I mean, this is awesome. Before you, you were very arrogant. You thought you knew everything. And so you defended every action, even though you knew it was wrong. You knew you had FOMO. You knew you should have stopped down. But you're like, you know what? I had a feeling. You know, that, that, that shit doesn't work in training, right? So, so now the difference, look at this. You're listening. You're, you're, you're not trying to defend yourself constantly. And that's the key, guys. I mean, Michael here, Midtown, holy shit, dude. It's fucking training. sick. And then it helps you in your personal life, too. Oh, my God. You seem so much happier, bro. <laughs> dude, I'm in control, you know? I'm in control. That's it. You know, I'm in, I'm in control of my trading and the humbleness. I walk around like a, like a mensch, you know? I just help people out. Because I know this is, like, right here, like, I love, this is where I want to be, man. You know? This is Correct. all I want to do for the rest of my fucking life. You know? But I still have a job, and I still do the job. And this is supplementing my income, and I'm learning. Until one day, maybe, I'm Correct. able to just do this full time. Maybe. Correct. But that's, that's what we talk, I talked about early in the morning, right? You need a job. Without that job, you'd be panicking. You'd be like, I need to make money every day. Yeah. Yeah. So, and tell us, uh, so, because Midtown here, Michael, is, is, is like, like pretty much like all of us learning and starting. So tell us, like, when did you actually join? And tell them like the the timeline, what what they can expect. All right. So so here's so here's uh, I probably joined maybe six months ago, seven months ago. Does that make sense? Something like yep. that. Six seven months ago, I was not anywhere where I am today. And there are times where you're probably going to want to quit and tell yourself this isn't working. You know. And I've been, you know, I've been there many times. And all I can tell you is that you can't. You can't give that shit up, you know? You can't quit on yourself. Just go back to basics every time. Just go back to basics. Um, so it's about six months, you know, give or take. And um, I'm, re you know, starting last month, I really, so about six months in, right? Six months in, it's starting to, like, click. I know what I'm looking for. Harry's phenomenal. Um Yo, you're you know, basically doing the first the bounce, right? You're doing the first bounce over and over. First bounce over and over and over again. Um, the you're not fine. getting greedy. You're not getting greedy. That's the key. You're Dude, exiting what this. you need. Look at this. So, so you see, I'm in here. Hold on. Let me get my mouse. I'm in right here for S O N A, uh, uh, S N O A, and just freaking sold into strength, just like uh, uh, Harry says. Holy shit, that's beautiful, bro. So that you're sick, Rick. You're, you are selling your lung where, I, where I'm shorting. So that's yes. <laughs> that's what we got to do. You know, but, but that's what I say to myself. I say, where's the line where these motherfuckers are going to fucking start their entries? Yup. I want to sell right into that. Take my yep. shares. Yup. Exactly, man. Because what happens is, I mean, dude, longs make money. Shorts make money. The pigs are the ones that get slaughtered, man. If you're too greedy, you will get slaughtered. So... You're doing exactly right. So, so, but so about six months, um, things started to really click and turn around. But it was like six months of like grinding, watching videos, reading, watching, reading, watching, taking losses, getting beaten up all the time. 
learning, watching, reading. You, you, you know, you need to get beat up a little bit, I think, too. Um, but yeah, six months, you know, half a year, seven months, it, it starts to click. It's nothing. Dude, it, then one day you wake up and you're like, holy shit, I kind of get this. And you don't know how you went from night and day, right? You it wake just up fucking happened. It just snapped like that. Just like you said, you became, what you, like what you said, you uh, became a millionaire overnight, but it took you a decade. <laughs> it's like I became an overnight success, but it only took me 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. That's exact. <laughs> it's on point. It's on point. You know? So, you know, I owe everything of whatever, like everything to, to MIC, all the mods, all the fucking, the whole community, you know? Like, the, uh, went yeah. to God. It, it, so basically, this is the beauty thing about the tab program. So your tabs are basically benefiting. Everybody in that group is benefiting from everybody else learning. Yeah. You know what was cool too? Was like, I was able to give back, right? So like some people needed a fucking monitor and I had some extra ones or oh, whatever. Oh yeah, I love that, bro. And I was able to be like, you know what? Let me help you, bro. Like Adon, he's, you know, he's, a, he's in high school. He's working with his dad and he had a laptop. I'm like, come on, you know, if you need help, I'll help you. And, you know, and he got it and, 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 he's, and, he's, and it's just better. And you're helping somebody else get better. And Dude, that, awesome. you know, that humbles me more, right? Where it's like, I'm taking, now I'm even going slower now, you know? And it's just sick. It's you sick. start to appreciate, you appreciate everything that you have. You know, there's yeah. guys that don't even have a monitor, man. You know, and, and the good thing about that, uh, about Don is uh, he's still in high school. Wasn't he like 17, 18? <laughs> yeah, but it's sick. He's so, he's so ingrained in it. You know, he's writing, sit down, studying all the time, asking questions. He's so in it, which is awesome. I mean, he's going to be, he's going to be great. He just can't give up. Dude, that's the thing, man. I mean, the, it doesn't matter how young or how old you are, man. It, you know, your life starts today. That, that's what it is. Yeah. So, I mean, it's me, awesome. you're an old man, you know, I mean, older man than that kid in high school, but shit. Dude. I feel, yeah. <laughs> that's sick. But you have experience. You know? That's good. That's so awesome, bro. I mean, and, and notice. When you don't have those wild P&L swings, your P&L adds up quick, doesn't it? Look at that, you 17 days. <laughs> Dude, it's sick. Right? You're like, it holy shit. Up. It adds up quick, man. The, the, the one thing from on, now on, okay, do not let one play wipe away a month of hard work, bro. Put those stops in. Put the max daily loss at the broker level in. So now that you've got it, Tighten up your fucking belt strap, bro. Nothing's getting down there, bro. Nothing's coming out, right? Nothing. That shit is tight as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not losing yeah. no more, man. I can't lose anymore. You know, I don't want to lose anymore. You it's know? a horrible feeling. It's not financial. It's a mental drain. Like, how could I keep fucking up like this? Right. And you know why you keep fucking? You 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 don't want to change before. There was a stock a month and a half, like two months ago that I forget what it was. I don't even want to remember. I, I wrote it down like three points. I wrote it down. My fucking P&L went straight down and it destroyed my fucking account, right? And I'm like, when am I going to learn, right? And now I'm, I'm creeping. I'm creeping back up past that now. But oh, wow. I, but like you can't go straight down and straight back up. Like that's not going to happen. You got to, that shit takes time to grind back. So just eliminate that slam down. So let me ask you this. This, this is a very important question because everybody's going through this. You took that big loss. What did you do differently? Did you, what changes did you make? Because you can't just say, I'm going to change. You have to do something. Actions is the way to do it. Like saying stop losses. Stop example. losses. Stop losses. And oh, it's okay to be wrong. Just not stay wrong. Yep, exactly. So that's what I did. I stayed wrong. You know, oh, so that, and, so that's and exactly then ego, what... ego hit in, ego let me stay wrong, and I was down like thirteen hundred. You know, and I'm like, fuck, I'm like, that sucks. You know, I I, I don't want to be down thirteen hundred. So I don't. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'm out. Correct. So you actually took action. Now you're using stop losses. That that's what I want to hear. That's awesome. That's it. Stop loss. Because always. Why don't you put that in, brother? You can just go take a shit, it does, and the stock can take a shit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah. And like, I feel better when I'm in the trade, knowing that my max loss is X. Doesn't doesn't that alleviate so much more anxiety? Like, you're like, holy shit, dude! I'm not, 
I'm not super scared as I was before. Right. It alleviates the anxiety and the mental shit. And that allows me to buy again or look for something else to buy because I'm not wasting that mental capital, that emotional fucking distress is not there. So now Correct. I look for other plays. It gives me more power. So what are you working on now to improve? So that, this is awesome. You know, you, you went from a losing period to understanding why you lost and you implemented a plan not to lose again. So that's the key. You did implement a process. Your process included stop losses. So that's the huge thing. Number one thing is risk management, what I would say, right? So, so now, now that you did this, what are your plans for, for the next couple of months? Just, just continue to fine tune. Um, what I've been noticing in my trades that I get the first leg, but I miss the second leg. And the second leg is usually a lot stronger. So, you know, oops, your internet went by. I can't hear anything. Is that me or is it? In, in Midtown, I can't hear anything. Uh, someone's internet went down. Is that my internet or yours? <laughs> Can't hear Midtown, yeah. Can't hear Midtown. Yeah, my... <laughs> All right, man, but thank you. Dude, that, that is so fucking awesome. That's, you know what, man? Michael, that's one of the best birthday gifts for, for me to see your progress and your life being changed, people's lives being changed. This is the greatest gift. I'm telling you right now, man. This is why I do what I do. I love this. And I'm telling you guys, you don't have to be the most smart. You don't have to be the most proper. You know, you don't have to be anything to become a successful day trader. You know what you have to be? You have to be hardworking, Humble and disciplined. Seriously, that's all you need. Stay disciplined. You know? I mean, dude, we were all very arrogant at one point in our lives. You know? And, and in life, there's a couple of people, right? There's two types of people in the world. Ones that have been humbled already. And ones that will get humbled. So you don't want to be the second guy. And so... So the reason I asked, so I'm going to sum this up, guys, because this is what you need to do to become a successful day trader. Repeat what Midtown did. You don't have to lose your money and get frustrated. Okay, you can skip that. And just believe that the process that we teach you works. So what he did was he started using stop losses, hard stops. No more of this mental stop bullshit. That's why he's losing before. Because as a new trader... When it comes down to a line that you're supposed to take the loss, it's very difficult to take the loss unless you've been in this game, have very strong will, great discipline. So put that stop loss in. And that's how people lose all their money. They flinch. They hesitate. Then next thing you know, boom, the thing tanks again. And so he, he, he turned his trading around by becoming humble, starting to listen, Start to implement what we teach. And then, and then now that's the reason why I asked him, what are you working on for the next three months? I love his answer. Do you know why? Even though he had 20 straight green days, is not, he's not arrogant. I asked him that, and he said, I'm going to refine what I do. I'm going to make what I do better. You know? That's a beautiful answer. You know why? Because... It was kind of like a setup question for him to see what he says. Because if he says, oh, I'm going to size up. I'm fucking good now. I'm the man. I'm going to size up. That's the wrong answer. Training is a marathon, guys, not a sprint. If you size up too quickly, you will blow up. You have to be ready. So it's stages. This, this is like I keep – I made an analogy back in the day. They learn to trade. is like, it's like a role-playing game. Role playing game, like World of Warcraft, whatever the hell that Warcraft, whatever that 
those online uh, uh, role playing games, right? So you start out fucking naked, no fucking clothes. You're wearing leaves and shit, and uh, all you have is a fist to fight. You know, over time, you know, you learn a box, and then you pick up a rock. Now you have a rock, and you have a knife, and you fucking finally have some leather, leather fucking clothes on, and then soon you have metal armor, and then, you know, man, you, 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 even when I'm I'm level ninety nine, and. But the thing is, there's, the levels don't stop. There's a level one million. I still have a long way to go. So that's the key, guys. The key is, is a, it's a role-playing game with no fucking end. You always have to fucking learn to be better, guys. And that's the frustration of training. There is no end to this madness. When you reach level 99, you think that's the top. Then you look up, and it's like, holy shit, another 5,000 levels. Just when you think your, your fucking diamond armor plate and sword is the best, you look over and go, holy fuck, this motherfucker got some alien fucking laser beams and shit. <laughs> Cuts right through my, my diamond armor. So that's the key, guys. Never stay complacent in trading. Always learn because your competition is learning. Your competition includes other members, other traders. Algos are becoming better and better. Okay, guys? So, have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this because this is my gift to you guys on my birthday week. Okay? It's to show you that success is possible. It takes time. It took me decades to become an overnight success. Okay, guys? Go out there and make it happen. And, hey, thanks, Tosh. If you guys want to learn more about MIC, guys, you know where we hit it. Thanks, Alex. We'll see you next week in Miami, baby.